So, what's up, guys? Inferno Shard one for the win here. And today, I have some pretty awesome good stuff to go over with you guys. And some stuff that you guys are going to be like, maybe upset about. And then there's some stuff that you guys are more than likely going to be super, super pumped up and happy about. So, why don't we start with the first news of the bad part. Okay, so there's rumors going around saying that Red Dead Redemption 2, the reason why it got delayed and it got delayed again is because of cross-network play. Now, this is not anything specifically true or nothing. It's just rumors saying that that could be the reason why it got delayed. But there's also other rumors saying that after they release it, Rockstar might actually be going to Xbox's conference instead of Sony, and this this might actually be our last game we may get with Sony exclusive DLC from Rockstar, and Rockstar probably may just go to Xbox because this. Let's look at it this way. So Xbox or not Xbox Rockstar is trying to get cross network play because Rockstar wants people from PS4, PC and Xbox 1 all to play online and I was th and I'm thinking that that's probably what they might do with this. But I never seen anything confirmed or nothing about this. These are just rumors that I made up. Of this maybe having it happening if Rockstar does get Red Dead Redemption 2 cross network play. But the bad part is, is that Sony is denying it. Xbox Xbox's conference even tried to say that Minecraft is now officially cross network play, and they were trying to get Sony to get it, and Sony said no they're not going to do a cross-network play, it's going to ruin the company. Which, no, it wouldn't ruin the company. It would help out the company even more so people can make friends from Android devices and make friends from Xbox and all these freaking PC players. I mean, you would make, like, so many friends, like, in a matter of, like, 10 seconds, it wouldn't even be funny. All right, so the first, second part... So the second part on today's news is that Jack and Daxter has officially been releasing and it does not have a release date yet, but it actually does have, it's actually going to be coming to PS4 within the next week or so, or maybe even sooner than that. It might actually be tomorrow or it might actually be next Friday, or it might even be Monday. Like, all it says is that the game is going to be releasing soon. Now, don't get your guys' hopes up and think that it's a remaster, because it's not. It's just the PS2 classics that are re-rendering 1080p and trophy support. And, yeah, it's not like... It's a... I mean... If you compare to the PS2 version when it first was releasing, it's it will look a lot better compared to the PS2 version. But it's just for right now, it will it's only going to be 1080p, but it's going to look way better than the PS2 original version on the PS2 system. But look at it this way, okay? I mean, you're still getting better resolution that's going to make the game even look better but on the other hand when Jack and Daxter the collection it got remastered on PS3 well you only got Jack 1 and 2 and 3 well on this one I think they might have you could buy them separate for I'm going to think either $14.99 or $9.99 but with this being said you're going to have you're going to have actually another Jack and Daxter game in there, and it's like Jack Racing or something. 
so you're getting four games and then I think the collection's probably going to be like I'd say thirty four ninety nine, which ain't a bad price. So all right, so then moving on forward to our next topic and this topic is about Sony denying every single thing that their fans actually want. So so like I was saying with Sony denying cross network play for Red Dead 2 and freaking Minecraft and stuff this is not the only thing that Sony has denied. There's quite a couple other things. The only I can't think of all of them on the top of my head but I know exactly one that more PS4 fans really really and I'm seriously I know what they really want because I'm personally the same way. So it was about a month or two ago the boss on Sony was saying this feature is what all the fans want that really really want but not be able to play very much. And he states to say that this feature will not be used that much. Okay so what I don't get is is they're saying that PS3 backward compatibility on the PS4 why would anybody play these old games? But yet they're remastering some older games like Crash Bandicoot that just came out the other day and then now I'm hearing Spyro is right around the corner. Now I'm just hearing as rumors because of Crash Bandicoot selling so well. And and then also Jack and Daxter the PS2 classics that are coming to PS4 so he's saying that who would want to play these trashy old games well the way you're doing you're saying PS3 sucks PS3 games is not as old as Jack and Daxter and the Crash Bandicoot and Spire games literally the PS3 games are not even that old like the first Red Dead Redemption it's only seven years old compared to Crash and Spyro those games are like fucking 20 years old yeah I it just blowed my freaking mind with Sony and all this other stuff so I just didn't freaking like the fact that you know Sony just wants to deny every single thing and they don't want to make their freaking fans even more happier and try to get more money. And it's just because they're making so much money right now because they're selling so many PS4s. They're just like, oh, nope. We ain't doing nothing for you guys. We're already making our money. Oh, but you don't want the extra, do you? Because I know for a fact I wouldn't want the extra and do something to make it. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. I just thought I'd go over a few things about gaming that's been going on here lately and I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you could uh, smack a like for me and don't forget to subscribe so you guys can check out on any all of my previous videos I know I was going to do a video yesterday about whatever I tried to do it but my stupid phone was like you know like trying to say that it was full of space which really it wasn't because I recorded it while not doing nothing and tried to see how far it went and it went up to 25 minutes well I was trying to record and it I was trying to finishing my video and I didn't notice because usually it doesn't make a noise and I tried to do like 10 minutes and I go back to my phone and the video only stopped at 4 minutes when there is enough space to do like 12 or 25 minutes I was like are you freaking kidding me so I was like you know what screw this I'll just talk to uh, talk about it as a video while I'm playing a game on PS4 instead of doing just an actual video but that's just thought I let you guys know but I hope you guys like I said enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe and send me in the comments section and I will see you guys in the next one